The UConn Huskies got off to a cold start, but were able to rally and ultimately overcome the Coppin State Eagles, defeating them with a final score of 72 to 59. UConn continued their first half struggles, finding themselves down 8-0 to start the game. It wasn't until Carlton's and one that ignited the scoring for the Huskies, and they started to pull away thanks to the likes of Antoine Anderson, who had a team high eight in the first half, and also their dominance on the boards. UConn out-rebounded Coppin State 24-8 after the first half, and also they had a big contribution from the bench, who outscored Coppin's bench 19-3 after the first half. I mean, you got 35 points off our bench, and it wasn't CV scoring 30 points of them or 28 points of them. Everybody contributed. Um, Isaiah came in and played. He hadn't played in like four games. Come in and get five offensive rebounds, eight rebounds total. Um, I was very proud of the young guys coming in and giving us energy. And everybody, Tyler, you know, having been playing a lot, came in and gave us a spark. So everybody off the bench uh, contributed. The UConn Huskies came out aggressive in the second half and were able to extend the lead to double digits. Although they didn't shoot the ball well, they drew enough fouls to get them to, to the free throw line, knocking down 15 of 19 free throw attempts. Thanks to the sharp shooting of Lamar Morgan of the Coppin State Eagles, who had a game high 30 points, he was able to keep Coppin in the game. But UConn was able to counter every attack from the Coppin State Eagles. The UConn Huskies will receive a 12 day break and they'll return to action on the 21st as they face the Arizona Wildcats in Arizona. I'm Shannon Amanu, and this is UCTV Sports.